What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. <clears throat> if you could tell by my voice, I'm sick. Alright, I'm not feeling the best right now. I'm not feeling good at all. Matter of fact, it's been a rough day. It's really hard for me to talk, so just bear with me. I'm probably going to lose my voice by the time this video is over, but I don't care because I'm not skipping an upload and just because I'm sick doesn't mean I'm not going to be posting a video. So, <clears throat> I actually even tried to go fishing for you guys today. And uh, that just didn't happen. I'll try to go in the backyard for a little bit, see if I can get some uh, fish catches, fish clips. Try that for you. Just got back uh, from working out uh, about 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. And I uh, decided to pick up the camera and make this video. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a minute, but I have two quick things I want to do. This right here, uh, mess up this journalist section from a, a, from a fan across the street. I guess I need to do this journal. I don't know if I should give this back to you since I'm sick now because one of these says uh, use this page as a napkin. And I might just blow my nose in it because <clears throat> tell you I'm not feeling good. Second off, right here, giving someone a shout out right now. I don't usually do this, guys, but guess what is happening right now? Be sure to go follow this kid right here on Instagram, C underscore C A G L E 66, C underscore Seagull 66, alright? This boy right here, I actually met him a while back ago. I've been talking to him, really cool kid. <clears throat> go get him up, go get him a follow. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Skip all that stuff. So, the reason you guys clicked on this video is because you guys wanted to find out how I did on the tournament. This is a tournament update, talking about the tournament. And I don't want to make this too long for you guys, so let's make it short and sweet and uh, information packed. So, moving on to everything. As you guys know, I'm a sophomore in college right now. <clears throat> I finished my whole first year um, of college and college fishing um, this previous year. The first tournament on this, uh, this season's schedule was on Lake Lanier. And as you guys know, that's my home lake. There's not one other lake in this world that I'm more confident on than Lake Lanier. You know, this summer I went like 15 days straight, almost, and literally had over 13 pounds every single day. Like every single day. In a few days I had 20 pounds. <clears throat> Insane, I was wrecking the fish. This summer, and especially in the past, and you know, confidence through the roof on this lake. Like, I know what this lake has, potentially. And, you know, there is no way, like, there is no way I just wasn't going to at least get, like, a top three in this tournament. Like, there is no way. So, that's the mindset I went about it in this tournament. So, I don't know if that's always the best thing for what I'm about to tell you. So, going into this tournament, I actually went, we had two days of practice before the event. First day, went out there, um, found the main pattern, and um, ended up not recording this day. Found the main pattern. We were catching fish on brush piles. Um, of course, I would, that didn't surprise me at all. Catch them on a fish head spin. Also, I wanted to go find a secondary pattern, which was a largemouth bite, which I never do on the near. I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I wanted to try something different. So that's what we went and did. And we caught like five or six largemouth that day as well. I'm um, finding a largemouth pattern. I was catching them on like a little red crankbait, <clears throat> as well as a big mop jig, which uh, my partner Oakley was throwing. Had a great day, you know, kind of built a base, but we knew the next day was going to be in the area that I'm comfortable with. I have a lot of confidence in this area. So we went through the second day of practice. I'm um, put in there, hitting all the standard brush piles. It was kind of slow at first, and then all of a sudden, dude, oh my god, it just snapped. And it was unreal. We pulled up on these spots. As you guys saw, if you guys haven't seen the practice video, go watch it. Um, I'll link it down below. We're going to hit all these uh, brush piles. I pulled in one creek. The creek previously was pretty solid. Um, I think we caught, you know, like five fish by then. Six fish. <clears throat> Pull up into this creek. Go on my first brush pile. Right, right at the mouth. Be my cast out there. Let it, let it sink. I was throwing a fish head spin. As you guys know, I love that bait. Just reeling that bad boy. Boom. Wax it. Hooks that into him. And then he ends up coming off. I'm like, alright. You know, that's fine. Whatever. I'll put the rods down, uh, throw the trolling motor up, crank, to, crank up to the next spot, pull to the next brush pile, tell Oakley, I'm going to cast right here, he cast right there, boom, uh, three pounder on a wobble head. All right, put the boat up, went to the next spot. First cast, fish on a spin, boom, two and a half pounder, got him in the boat, all right, boom, next spot, first cast, boom, three pounder in the boat, all right, there you go, so next spot, next cast, 
Dude, I found her. Now, at that point, I was like, you know what? There's no point in me checking these brush piles anymore in this creek. It is insane. We literally caught five fish, five casts in like five to ten minutes. It was ridiculous. And uh, Lanier, that does not surprise me. And, you know, I felt so good. I was like, you know, we found this right here. We got a secondary pattern just in case something happens. We have a backup plan with the large mouth. And, um, you know, everything should go well. And, you know, we're all set up. Went and I scanned some other spots, fished a few more spots to find some other stuff. Went back to some of my original stuff I hit this summer. I mean, the same way, just being a cast, you know, boom, you know, first cast. Every single time, I'm just like, we're on them. You know, there's no doubt in my mind, we're, we're going we're gonna to put this thing in the bag, we're going to win this thing. <clears throat> Comes day one of the tournament. Oh, man. First off, start off with a three-hour fog delay. Three hours. I've never had that happen to me once. I've had a fog delay before, but nothing like three hours. Like, that was just an insane wait. Um, totally killed that morning bite. But most of the fish that we were catching were in the afternoon anyways. And uh, didn't really bother us too much. I knew we could get a big bite in the morning, especially with the schools. And um, so that was kind of knocked out of the side. But overall, you know, I was thinking, you know, we're, our spots are still going to be good comes this afternoon. We didn't launch until I believe it was like 10.30. We had to take out at 5.15, or is it 6.15? It was 5.15. It might have been 6.15, matter of fact. That's a long tournament, guys. I There's no doubt in my mind. I was like, Oakley, we got to bust them out today. Like, first day, day one, we got to come in with like 16 to 20 pounds. I said, we just got to bust them. Um, don't worry about the spots. You know, catch as many as possible. Just try to upgrade our bag. Don't worry about beating up our fish because the next day was supposed to be raining. It was going to be really nasty. And so they cut the day short all the way to 1.15. We had to be back. So we're like thinking in our heads, like, we're just going to beat these fish the first day. Try to catch 16 to 20 pounds. You know, I thought it was definitely doable with what we found and um we'll be set the next day we can get some of the largemouth stuff we'll save that and uh, that's what we'll do so anyways we go to the brush piles start fishing them nothing get some to the next ones casting nothing when i mean fishing fast guys i mean fishing fast oakley said it was the craziest day he's ever been on the water we hit around i, I mean i'd say 125 spots that day um and not even kidding you know, there's there's a few fish that came off, um, and a few few mistakes <clears throat> during the day. We did not have a fish at five o'clock. We had to we had to weigh in at we had to be at weigh in at six fifteen. We did not have a fish, and it was five o'clock. And by that time, I was already up north, heading towards the ramp, just because, you know, I wanted to be over in that area. There's no point in being late. You know, it's a two day event. That whole deal. Um, I don't have any spots up there really. I don't fish up there. And you know, one spot's treated me well in the tournament. I decided to stop in there. Um, I'm throwing a shaky head by this point. I couldn't get a bite and practice on the shaky head, but I knew, you know, deep down in my head that, you know, if I can't get a fish on anything, just throw a shaky head. We'll throw it up on this tree and call it a two and three quarter pounder. It was a decent fish. That got me pumped up because I was like, all right, we got a fish in the boat, even though it was almost the end of the day. And sadly, we ended up not catching any more. Only caught one fish. You got you got to listen to it. This is my home lake. This is a lake that I knew so much about that I could, like, close my eyes and just be thinking about, you know, let's go here tomorrow, here, 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 and boom, we catch, like, 15 pounds. Like, it, the stars were not aligned today. There's, it was one of those events. I had one event last year that was the same way, and it was actually on Lake Hartwell, which is, like, the second most confident lake I'm on. And uh, the same exact thing happened. I just don't know why all this stuff. I don't know if it gets in my head or what it is, but always in practice, I'm smoking them. It's not even like I'm beating up the fish. You know, I get a bite, I leave, or I don't even cast in there, or I shake the fish off, or I just catch one leave. You know, I never beat up the fish. It just happens like that. It's just, it's just fishing. But this day was totally not been for us. We saw the fish schooling all around us, you know, throwing our baits right in there. I'd throw my fish head into a school of four and five pounders I see hopping up, and I just feel them hit it hit it twice, just never get it. And I'm like, you know, at that point it's just ridiculous. So I threw my fish head some more and kept short striking it. I was just thinking to myself, you know, this is just not going, but we only have one fish for like two and a half pounds on day one. And this just shows you guys, this is what fishing is. And I'm showing the reality of this tournament. And I'm telling you guys 100% truth, honest, even though this was a horrible event, just because Everyone documents the good. Everyone documents like all the good stuff. No one documents the bad. They don't want to. They don't want to show themselves 
looking bad on camera. But guess what? I'm going to be 100% real with you guys because we're all going to have these days. It's just what it is. And uh, the fact that it was on my own link and I busted butt, I mean, I can tell you one thing though. We worked our butts off. And when I mean I, we worked our butts off, I got off the water. I don't know if you can still see it, but my nose was so, my face was literally, I don't know if I can grab, as red as it gets. Like, I, I about killed myself. Like, I was to the point where we would, I'd love get on plane, lay it on a spot, I would throw it back, you know, I got a hot foot. By the time that boat's still coming down, there's water that's going to come up on the front. I already hit the stop button. I'm already up on the front deck throwing the trolling motor in the water. I mean, hitting as fast as we can. We hit over 100 spots that first day. Only caught one fish. With all that happening, you know, I, I was talking to Oakley. I'm like, dude, we can't get down. You know, this is just how stuff happens. You know, you can't control everything. All I know is we put in 110%. I said, tomorrow we're going to put 150%. No bullshit, you know, we're getting this done. <clears throat> and this is just what we're gonna have to do. Going into the next day, a lot, a lot more, you know, we're just gonna have to do this. We're getting rained on. As blast off occurs, this is the reason you're not seeing any footage. Raining like crazy. I actually ended up breaking my GoPro on the way from launch to my first spot. I actually got water in my lens. It was embedded in the lens and then it ended up freezing and it's just all jacked up now. I didn't get any footage. I'm kind of mad. It wasn't like we did good, but I still wanted to document it and show you guys some things. But I do have one thing, which was the early morning uh, blast off clip, which I'm sure I'll show at the end of the video. If it's not, uh, if this video is too long, I probably won't show it, but I might show, you know, I can show like 15 seconds of it, of uh, blast off. So going out there, um, we just decided, you know, we're fishing all day, you know, got a fish in the boat. <clears throat> I caught it on a shaky head. Um, about 30 minutes later, went out one of my deeper brush piles that I didn't get to hit the day before. It was just kind of like, let's stop here. Saw a lot of fish on the graph, backed off, threw in there, Oakley caught one on a jig, three pounder. Um, everything was starting to go good. And everything, I just shut everything off in my head. I said, screw this stuff. You know, we're not hitting any of this stuff. Let's, I'm going to literally replay what I did this summer. And I'm just going to go back to the basics. I sat down in the boat because I broke my drop shot off previously. I tied one on, tied my leader, tied everything. Got up on the boat and started hitting the main piles I usually hit. And just started catching them. And the fish I was catching were tiny, guys. 13, 13 and a half inches. And they had to be 14 inch keepers. I'm catching a large mouth, which is insane out there. I'm catching them, they're just all small. We just keep running, running, running. And all of a sudden, you know, I see all these fish under me. I'm dropping on a drop shot. And uh, Oakley comes up next to me. And drops his jig, and we're just talking to ourselves like, if they hit that jig, but not this drop shot, it just makes no sense. And literally, by the time his jig hit the bottom, boom, he hooked one right there, caught him. And uh, I can't even remember what the last fish was. We got one more fish in the boat. So we have four fish for, I believe, seven pounds. Horrible. Um, then again, but the weights were so bad. Like, it wasn't like it was a really good event uh, by any means. I mean, the lake, this is what happened. Cold front blew in. Not only did the cold front blow, blow, uh, blow in, but the lake was turning over, so it was just catastrophe. Cold front's already bad. When the lake's turning over, it's the worst, literally, like, time of the year to fish Lake Lanier, <clears throat> or any lake, especially the Lanier. Um, it's the worst time to fish it, and uh, that's just what it is, guys. We worked our butts off this, all I know. We put 150% effort into this event, and all I know is I know so much about that lake, it's ridiculous to think that... This is probably be my worst finish, you know, this year. I'm hoping this is my worst finish this year. And, uh, gosh, it just blew my mind. But same thing happened last year. My worst finish last year was at Hartwell. And that was one where if I was going to qualify anywhere, it was going to be at Hartwell. But that just shows you, you know, just because you know the water, just because you know this much, doesn't mean it's always the best thing. And, uh, Everything, you know, everything in life, as I always preach, is try your best. You know, Oakley, that was his first college event. And I had a long talk with him on the ride on the ride back here to Savannah. And I was talking to him. I said, dude, I said, you might be down by this tournament, but you can't, you can't be down. Like, you and I both know what we did. I said, no one else will know what we did these two days. Except for you and me. I said, we, you know what we did. I said, I know what we did. And what we did was put in 150% effort. I mean, worked our butts off, tried everything we could, did everything that we could, and the stars were just not aligned for us. You know, it just wasn't turning out. 
and you're all going to have tournaments like that, guys. If you guys have a bad tournament, don't go get down. If, you, if something bad happens, I mean, it doesn't matter if, you know, something stupid happens in a baseball game, you know. It's just what it is. It's what it is, especially in fishing because I would be really pissed at myself if I was playing baseball and I sat there and struck out every single time. Because I know that is clearly me holding the bat on me. Sometimes fishing is a little bit differently. You can't always make those fish bite. And sometimes you just know the day is put up against you. You know that you're just the number one person out there that is just going to get screwed over. <laughs> and that's just what it's going to be. But all I know is we put in so much effort. Those two practice days literally put in as much time as we could from daylight all the way to when we were allowed to take out or when we had to take out. Every single minute that we could fish those two days we did done on a ton of information and worked our butts off those two days of the tournament and that just shows guys even though you put all this effort in you're not always going to get something out you won't always get something out of it but all I can tell you guys is just please every single day try to be the best that you can be and just keep pushing even if something bad happens just keep pushing because there's no point of quitting you know if you if something bad like this happens you don't quit you keep on going because guess what? That day that you're working for is going to come. It's just, it's just, it might take 15 losses before you get that one win. But that's what life is. That's the only way. That's the only way to grind. It's the only way to hustle all the way to the top is to keep on putting the work. And, you know, you, you, you just don't get things for not working. It's just not how it works. You got to put in the work. And if you put in the work enough, it's going to come. I promise you. But, guys, <clears throat> oh, I apologize so much about not getting the tournament footage. Uh, I feel really bad about it, but the GoPro broke. There's nothing I could do. Wasn't the best set, you know, for us. Um, it was a depressing tournament, but guess what? I wasn't even sad about it at the end because in reality, I know what we did. We worked our, we worked our butts off. We did what we could, and we did everything that we possibly could, and that's just the end of the story. And uh, overall, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot. Sorry for about my voice. Like I'm, I'm seriously. I'm. I promise you, this isn't my voice right now. Like I'm really trying to actually make myself clear. But uh, overall, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. <sighs> Stay tuned for Sunday's video, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Put that thing in. Shout it bad, pop it like a court pop it. You a dork, never been a sport Pull up, jumpin' out the court Cotton candy, my cup tastes like the fair